Amigos del Minnesota de hoy, les saluda a Gustavo Mancilla, hoy con una entrevista bastante interesante. Espectáculos, eventos deportivos y artísticos se están desarrollando a montón aquí en las Ciudades Gemelas y hoy tenemos una entrevista bien padre porque eh, se trata de una obra de teatro que se estrena en el Guthrie Theater aquí en el Downtown de Minneapolis que incluye a un actor hispano que está el día de hoy con nosotros y de nombre Antonio Ríos Luna. Antonio, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien, ¿y usted? Muy bien, amigo, muy buenas tardes. Eh, buenas tardes. Emo emocionado por platicar sobre esta obra de teatro y lo que tú haces como actor de teatro. Bienvenido. Bienvenido. Uh, uh, sí, estoy... Um, yo soy, pues, yo no soy de aquí, yo no soy de Minnesota. Nací en uh, uh, Los Ángeles, California. Um, Vení aquí para estudiar teatro en la Universidad de Minnesota slash Guthrie BFA Actor Training Program. Y, <ríe> y me, me quedo para, um, porque hay una comunidad de teatro aquí que está um, uh, very rich, como se dice. Yo hablo Spanglish también, no hablo <ríe> uh, uh, solo es español. <ríe> sí, sí. Um, Uh, uh, y me encanta estar aquí con usted um, me parece no sé si sea cierto eh, te vimos actuar eh, durante el invierno con este grupo de actores latinos Latins on Ice ¿es uh -huh. correcto? Latins on Ice, sí uh, somos un uh, colectivo de art artistas uh, um, comedia uh, comedianos uh, Uh, artista de um, visual arts uh, y también uh, escribimos sketch comedy um, y uh, Latins on Ice was um, a really important project for me and for for uh, as an artist in this town um, because it was uh, I was the first time I got to ever work with all other Latinx artists in telling stories that we cared about, stories that we, that affected us and that were, uh, that affected our community. Um, and we were able to do it in this, like, literally this really white space. <laughs> um, uh, it was, one, it was snowing outside, uh, uh, and two, um, it was, it's a, it was a predominantly, we're, uh, we live in this predominantly white communities, predominantly white city and state. Um, entonces, para tener la oportunidad para, um, para to tell our stories is very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, realmente lo disfrutamos. We really enjoy it. We were there at the Nokomis cool. Lake, I think. Nokomis, yeah. yeah. Felicidades. Cuéntanos Gracias. un poco, ¿cómo diste el salto? How did you jump from... Uh, Latin Sonic, this collective group, de este colectivo a un teatro tan importante como lo es el Guthrie Theater. Por supuesto, seguramente ya lo has hecho antes, por favor. Ajá. Yo no sé. <laughs> um, no, I think, I think for me it was, um, it's always, I've always just kind of followed my passion, followed, followed what speaks to me. Uh, I, I like to tell stories that Um, uh, speak to my speak to people's humanity and I think that Latins on Ice and Sweat um, they're very different things very different shows, very different plays one is sketch comedy one was kind of being able to laugh at the things that are hard to laugh at, this one is very um, is also about people's humanity but it's much it's much harder It, it's it's much more real and um it doesn't pull any punches whereas in lands on ice we were we were it was a tickle and a punch <laughs> this yeah. one is not <laughs> well uh we're excited about this a new play at the godfrey theater uh, we've been there a few times and they do very spectacular productions mm -hmm. um 
¿De qué se trata Sweat? What is it about uh, this new play Sweat at the Goddard Theater? So Sweat is about, I'm going to like kind of paraphrase uh, an interview from Lynn Nottage that I was just reading. Okay. <laughs> uh, Sweat is about, um, about this uh, Reading, Pennsylvania. It's about this group of people who, um, these two generations of working class, class people who worked in a, in a steel factory. Um, and it kind of, Uh, tells the story of what happens when people lose their jobs, what happens to relationships, what happens to um, friendships when like the when scarcity comes about. Um, so it, it, it involves it like racial racial tension comes up, um, money money problems come up. It's all the stuff it's all the things that working class people in the United States experience, but aren't usually like depicted on stage, um, which is why I think it's such a great show. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it sounds like uh, uh, a couple of topics might be touched here and there at this play, like race and immigration. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us about mm -hmm. it, please. Um, so there's a, that, like there's a diversity of race in the play of 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 ethnicities in the play there's my character oscar who's a colombian there are african americans in the play as well and there are white people um like uh kind of anglo americans um uh gosh a lot of the people in this play they interact closely with each other and they love each other they're they're friends they're best friends um but they're not polite with each other. And it's also very much a period piece in that in the 2000s, there wasn't PC culture. Nobody nobody uh, was pol as politically conscious or politically correct. So there's a lot of, there are some slurs, there are some um, like prejudices, particularly towards my character, Oscar. Um, Uh, yeah, there's uh, um, there's this already this narrative going on this 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 like uh, blame the immigrant narrative this uh, what is it called um, I forget what what the word is but like people have this prejudice towards Oscar because they think that he's taking jobs away from mm. the people of the town which of course is not true it's the it's the greed it's the greed of the of the owners of these factories that are causing all of these financial hardships for the working class people it's the american culture of not valuing working class people that is created this scenario. Platícanos un poco sobre Oscar. ¿Quién es Oscar y qué es lo que te lleva a ti para tomar este papel y desarrollarlo? Oscar. Hmm. Oscar. Oscar es me recuerda de mis padres. Uh, Oscar es alguien que tra trabaja muy duro pero no tiene muchas oportunidades. Uh, entonces necesita hacer, a echarlo fuerte a cualquier oportunidad, oportunidad que, que, que pase por, por frente, ¿verdad? Um, he's, um, está, también está inteligente, pero otras personas no pueden ver eso y también es, um, también, uh, He cares about his family. He, he cares. He cares about making himself better, about growing, um, about growth. He's very um, ambitious, but he has all of these obstacles in his way. Yeah. Interesante. Eh, piensa en la comunidad latina de Minnesota. Piensa en la gente que tú conoces y, y, y tal vez dinos o diles. Tell them uh, why it's so important to attend to the arts and maybe to attend and get to know this play, Sweat. Hmm. 
It's important. Es importante porque las personas que están uh, produ uh, produciendo, produciendo, uh, <ríe> produciendo um, obras de teatro, obras artísticas, no saben que nosotros som somos the audience. Nosotros uh, quieren, um, nosotros quieren, queremos ver historias que uh, son para nosotros también. Mm -hmm. uh, as soon as people, there are so many stories, so many Latinx playwrights um, in the country today. They write plays, theater, uh, musical theater, TV, film that aren't getting produced because um, wealthy, the theaters with money, uh, <laughs> which predominantly and historically have been white theaters, they don't think that we're gonna come see these shows. It's not that, that we won't come see these shows, it's just that we don't know that they're happening. We don't, we haven't had that opportunity. So if we could come, if more of us could come to the theater, um, then the demand will be there. And I think that, uh, that um, yeah, and the theaters will start to reflect that demand, yeah. Antonio, tú eres parte de una comunidad joven que está teniendo gran presencia y poco a poco se está estableciendo en ciertos aspectos o áreas donde los inmigrantes no tenían acceso en el pasado. Felicidades por ello. ¿Cómo, Muchas gracias. ¿Qué puedes decir tú a los jóvenes que quieren entrar a las artes, que quieren ser músicos o actores o pintores? ¿Qué podrías decir tú a ellos? Echa pa'lante, like, <ríe> echa pa'lante es, es difícil, pero, um, es, es, sí es difícil, pero it's worth it, it's worth it, there's, um, there's this whole, don't let anybody tell you that something isn't for you, uh, uh if it, if it's something you're interested in, you're passionate about, that you want to see more people like yourself doing, then you can be that person. Um, and, uh, work hard, be ready and like take advantage of the opportunities that come your way. And if there are, and if it doesn't seem like there are any opportunities, um, talk to people, uh, t like, like get with your community. Um, because doing stuff together is a lot easier than doing it on your own. Um, and there are people around you who are probably who want to, who want to do theater, who want to um, support you. Like if you if you should, <laughs> uh, even if you can't see it, um, as soon as you find that person, that first person who encourages you to do something, it's okay to ask for what you want. Um, yeah, yeah, do all of that. <laughs> and it's also, and also like, there will, there will be a lot of mistakes too. It'll take a, a minute. I've, I have failed my way <laughs> into this position. So, uh, uh, it, it's okay to fail as well. <laughs> Very nice. Antonio Rios Luna is mm -hmm. Oscar en la obra Sweat, escrita por Lynn Notach. Toca temas eh, muy importantes, incluidos la raza y la migración. Si bien el Godfrey Theater está emocionado de que el público disfrute de esta producción, también celebra que dentro del elenco se presenta Antonio Ríos Luna. Muchas gracias, Antonio. Muchas gracias. Mucha suerte y nos vemos en el teatro. Gracias, que lo vaya bien. Buen día, amigo. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. <música>